Hello, and welcome back to Species Spotlight. This week, I wanted to talk about a mammal that is common in Burlington County, but not commonly seen, the American mink. American minks are semi-aquatic, carnivorous mammals that are found in most parts of the United States and Canada. Minks prefer forested habitats that are close to a body of water, such as streams, ponds, swamps, or lakes. Minks are in the weasel family and have a long body that can reach about two feet long, with dark brown to black colored fur covering them and a small white patch of fur on their chin or chest. Minks only weigh about two to three pounds, with the females actually being slightly smaller than the males. In the wild, minks live to be three to four years old, but can sometimes live up to 10 years old. As a semi-aquatic animal, Minks have partially webbed feet that help them swim and also have thick fur with oily hairs that make the mink's coat waterproof. They will spend a good amount of time in the water hunting for food and can dive 16 feet down to catch prey. A mink's diet consists of fish, frogs, snakes, mice, chipmunks, and even muskrats and waterfowl. During winter months, Minks will sometimes hunt and kill more prey than necessary and actually stockpile their leftover food inside their dens. They tend to find old, abandoned dens made by other mammals as a place to call home and are mostly solitary, territorial animals. Minks are nocturnal, which is why we don't see them as often, but they also blend in very well with their surrounding environment, making them a sneaky predator. When minks feel threatened, they will growl and hiss and can spray a foul-smelling odor just like skunks when they feel the need. Their odor is mainly used as a way to mark their territory, as well as for finding mates. Mating season starts during the winter, and offspring are born as early as April. Females can give birth to one to eight kits, which are hairless and blind when born. Kids will stay with their mom and learn how to hunt until the fall, when they are ready to go off and create a territory of their own. If you're ever out in the parks right during sunset or sunrise, check along the wetlands for any mink activity. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Species Spotlight.